15 questions to ask your husband about marriage. Ooh, got a hot solo episode coming your way. I'm going to go through 15 questions and I'm going to speak on behalf of all husbands. He going to do what? I'm going to speak on behalf of all husbands. We're going to be sentimental. We're going to get conservative. We might get a little spicy. Either way, we're going to have a good time. Tune in. Let's get to the episode. What's going on, good people? Another episode coming your way. Sumner with the Sumners. It's your boy, Damon Sumner. And this week, there is no beautiful and amazing, sweet and adorable, kind and considerate Katoya Sumner, my wife. This is a solo episode. Uh, I think this is the second, maybe third solo episode we've done here. Uh, but it's going to be a good time. Don't tune out. Stay with me here. We're diving into another dope episode here coming your way. Before we do anything else, you know what we say. We mean it every single time. Appreciate you rocking with us, man. The The support has continued to be over two years. Just dope and exciting. Uh, Katori and I are again up. If you don't know, for some new exciting things with the podcast, stay tuned for those details later. Um, but yeah, we just appreciate y'all, man. We're going to dive right into it. Uh, wherever you're listening, we hope you're safe. We hope you're well. Let's go. So this episode is going to be a unique one here because this was sent to me from a listener and I was like yo Damon can y'all talk about it and I was like man this might be the perfect time to talk about it just me by myself you know what I'm saying I ain't got no uh wink wink restrictions you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna have no wink wink censorship we just gonna go in and they sent it to me here because um they are this listener uh she's engaged and she wanted to just kind of, you know, thought it'd be good content, but also want to hear some thoughts. So uh, they sent me this link to 15 questions to ask your husband about your marriage. 15 questions to ask your husband about your marriage, which I think is a really, you know, I'm, I'm for the questions. I'm for the I'm for the dialogue. You know, if you're trying to go the distance right in a marriage, if you're trying to go long term, I want to know you inside and out. Right. So these questions can be fun. These questions are lighthearted. I'm going to answer these questions on behalf of all husbands. So you already know I'm generalizing. You already know it's going to be hyperbole. You already know it's going to be some truth in there, okay? And then I'm also going to sprinkle in some specific personalized feelings for my beautiful, amazing wife, Katoya. But think about these questions, too, as we're diving into them today, just about maybe that you would ask your spouse, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be for your husband, but it could just be about your partner in general, right? Um, and so take that with a grain of salt. Let's have some fun. Let's dive in. 15 questions. All right. 15 questions to ask your husband about your marriage. My goal is to hit all 15, but we're going to see. We're going to dive in. Let's go. Number one, what is your favorite thing about being married? What is your favorite thing about being married? Ooh, ask your husband that question. Text him this. Text him this question right now. If you listening, wherever you at, you on the toilet, you at work, you in traffic, you with the kids, you sleep, wherever you ask your husband. Yo, real quick. Hey, real quick. Hey, hey, real quick. What's the favorite thing about being married to me? <laughs> what is your favorite thing about being married, man? Uh, so many things. Off top the head, boom. You know what we're going to say. You know what husband's going to say. It's having that road dog, that companionship. You know what I'm saying? That best friend, that boo thing, that ride or die beside me without a doubt. All jokes aside, to live this life, to go through the ups and downs, to get hit in the face by life, to have tough times come your way, to get bad news on a rainy Thursday, to have the highs and the triumphs and the wins and the glory, to have that with somebody beside you, you know what I'm saying, living life with you, can't beat it. You can't beat it, man. In my opinion, you can't beat it. And speaking on behalf of all husbands, you can't beat it. Like, it's just, you know, maybe you can relate to this, whether regardless of husband, wife, whatever it is, title, no title. Maybe you can relate to this. Like, life is literally just uncontrollable. We have no control over it. If you're listening here and you listened to last week's episode, you know that our family has been dealing and healing and recovering from a very traumatic situation recently. And I am so grateful so blessed and so fortunate to be walking and living this life alongside Katoya. And as on behalf of all husbands, 
We want that. Now, you know, sometimes we may get up in our pride and be like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, we good. You know what I'm saying? Leave me alone. I got this. I'm going to do this by myself. That's pride talk. That's ego talk. Don't listen to that. Get over there. Squeeze us from behind. You know what I'm saying? Wiggling our ear a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know how we feel. We soft inside. It's a heart. We like a whopper. You know what I mean? We like a whopper. You know what I'm saying? Old school for the 90s babies here. Hard on the outside, but get in the middle. We good shit. Um, that's really how you could describe husbands as, as whoppers. Um, <laughs> but that's it, man. Having that road dog with you side by side. That's the best thing about it. Let's keep going. Let's see. 14 more. When you were younger, what did you think marriage would look like? Ooh, that's good. When you were, when you were younger, what did you think marriage would look like? You know, to be honest with you, I had a couple different, uh, examples that were really great about marriage. And I really, this is, this is what I didn't think it would look like. I'll, I'll say this to answer the question. I didn't look, I didn't think it was going to look like I love Lucy. I did not think it, I did not think marriage was going to look like I love Lucy. If you're familiar with I love Lucy, get your life together. Okay. Let's be honest about that. I love Lucy out here <laughs> that they, they were sleeping in two different beds, two different single beds. I don't have enough time to talk about that alone. They were sleeping in two twin beds, same bedroom and they was just in there was love there let's be very clear there was love but there was turmoil there was every other day he's coming home from work she's got into some mischief we gotta both solve the problem sometimes it gets unresolved neighbors are involved i got best friends who look 40 years older than me that's not how i thought marriage was gonna look you understand i didn't think it was gonna look like that um, but I definitely thought it was going to be a lot of, a lot of love, man. A lot of, uh, good times. Like I, there's a few marriages I think of right now growing up and I just, I just look at them. They just looked happy. They looked joyful, right? They had a family, had kids, you know, hugs and kisses. Don't get it twisted. I know it wasn't going to be all butterflies and kisses, but just, you know, just that essence, that cornerstone of the marriage. That's what I think of. Let's keep moving here. Let's keep going here. Next up on the list, what was your favorite part of our wedding day? Come on, you know, I'm speaking on behalf of all husbands. What was your favorite part of the wedding day, baby? It was leaving. It was leaving, okay? The, everything was great. The hugs, the high fives, the pics, the dance, the alcohol, the family pulling up. But it was leaving, baby. Come on. You know, hey, it was leaving. Come on now. I had the candles. I had the rose petals out for my specific day uh uh night coming home before the honeymoon that next day you know we were tired too side note we were tired getting home it was a late wedding but uh we had energy that's all we're gonna say about that come on praise be next up what is your favorite thing i do for you talk to me wife what is your favorite thing i do for you that's good that's a good question what is your favorite thing I do for you. I think uh I think on behalf of all husbands, I want to say the favorite thing for us that you do for us, you support, yo. That support, you can't beat it. You can't beat that support. You know what I'm saying? Like like that ride or die support, like, you know, making big decisions, you know, looking to us to lead, lead well, lead gently. You know, lead with kindness, leave with a heart of servitude. You know what I mean? Like that support, you know, ha is really, man, whoo, man, as a husband, it's big. It's big time. And, you know, maybe specifically if you're listening, your husband doesn't necessarily communicate the best or the most often or most efficiently. You know what I mean? But like I'm speaking, but have all husbands. When you the way you support us verbally, non-verbally, it's huge. It's huge. Appreciate you. Let's keep going. Number five, how do you show me that you love me? How do you, husband, show me that you love me? That's good. I like that. Husbands, how do you show me you love me? There's a few ways specifically, okay? Off top, it's the desire to do whatever it takes to, to sacrifice energy, to fact sacrifice money, uh, uh, goals, ambitions, you know what I mean, activities, you know, for whatever it takes to make you happy, to make, you know, if you have kids, to make the kids happy, right? To do whatever it takes. That's one way we husbands try to show you that we love you is by that trying to. We ain't perfect. We ain't perfect, okay? Trying to sacrifice, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, whatever you want. You want this? If we can make it happen, let's make it happen, okay? If we can make it happen, let's make it happen. That mentality. I think that's one way. Um, another way is by just continue to learn. 
all right, how to love you better, right? Because on behalf of all men, we definitely have been getting plenty of notes over the last few years being in this marriage. We've gotten a lot of notes, a lot of notes, a lot of thoughts, a lot of feedback has come in the room for husbands. And, you know, we've been trying to learn how to husband better. And I, I feel like, not every time, but many times, we've taken it pretty well. A lot of grace. So, as a husband, those are just a few ways that we have been trying to love you. And that's hopefully you're ex exhibiting that, right? Hopefully. This is a really good question. I want you to just, if you're listening, I really want you to think about how you could ask this question at the right time, in the right way. Because it is kind of a, like a real question. Like, how do you show me that you love me? You know, and just be intrigued and have good dialogue about their answer and flip it. You know, flip the question. How do I feel like you love me? Right. Vice versa. Right. But this is a good one. How do you show me that you love me? Next up. Six. Ah, you thought I wasn't going to do it. I'm back. How do I show you that I love you? How do I show you that I love you? This is good. This is good. On behalf of all husbands, I want to say if you're thinking it's sex, it's not. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say that if you think I, I thought if you thought I was gonna say sex, you're wrong. Cause maybe you got a real husband who's just into a heavy sex drive right now. Maybe you do. Okay, that's not the number one. That's maybe in the top five. I'll be honest. It's probably it's probably top five, depending on the week. It's top three. Okay, but it ain't the first one. How do I show you that I love you? To be honest, is really is really. The words, the like, really, like, on good days. Think about your good, your best day. Because some of you husbands, you listen to this, you're like, ah, her words usually ain't that positive. Don't think about that, right? And if you're listening, right, ladies, and you're like, ah, my words ain't really that positive. Ah, I'm talking about your best day, okay? <laughs> but I think, generally speaking, that husbands really appreciate, like, biologically, statistically, we're generalizing, right? Ladies, you, you use more words, you communicate more, you share more feelings, right? And when those words come out, like we we know you love us, you put it in posts, it's on the IG posts, you're retweeting, you're saying how much you love me just in the shower, you're talking, you're sharing about your day, you're in the car ride, you're letting us know your thoughts. And when we do something well, you try to shower us with praise, like, that's just one of the biggest ways we know that you love us because you tell us, okay? You tell us. And we could do better with that, with our words, just being honest on behalf of husbands here. We could do better with the words. We could do better with that, okay? But we appreciate y'all using your words to uplift and to showcase and shower us with that love. Let's keep rocking out here. We having a good time. I'm going to shout this listener out next episode because this has been good. Next up. Let, let me know here uh, in the comments on Instagram. Hit us up on uh, uh, email, uh, summitupsummoners at gmail.com, summitupsummoners at gmail.com. If you think, you know, Katoya should do a one-off by herself and maybe go through these questions too. If you're like, oh, I would love to hear her perspective, let me know, all right? TikTok, where, wherever you can find us, communicate. Even if it's on our personalized accounts, hit us up, let us know. Let's keep going. Seven. If we had a week alone together, what would we do? Ooh. If we had a week alone together, what would we do? All right. Well, yeah. Your first your first thought of what I thought what you thought my thought was going to be on behalf of our husbands is correct. Okay, let's just go ahead and be honest. This is a safe. This is a safe space. Okay? Your your first thought of what you thought I was going to say about behalf of our husbands is accurate. Yes. We we definitely for a whole week, right? <laughs> no kids, no pets, no plants, no responsibilities. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely leveling up the sex drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, and hopefully that drive heavy for you too. But if not, woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. We trying to, we trying to get it in heavy. Um, but apart from that, apart from that, first off, we gonna eat good. Okay, we gonna watch some good TV. Like that's really, if you were like Katoya and I, um, that ain't the only thing we do. But those are a good three. That's going to make a good trip. You know what I'm saying? Some good sex, good food, and like good TV. <laughs> That's, that might be enough. That might be enough depending on how nice the lodging is. If you got a dope hotel, you're like, oh, this is too nice to leave. It might be enough. But, yeah, man, we're going to get out, man. We're gonna do, we like to do things that we don't always do, all right? We like to do things that we don't typically do. Get out that comfort zone. Stretch your legs a little bit, right? Do some things you like to do. Do some things I like to do. Do some things we both like to do. Do some things neither one of us have never done, okay? That's something that we for a week? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do right there for sure. 
Next up, let's keep going. List five things you love about me and why. List five things you love about me and why. Oh, yeah. On a lunch break tomorrow, hit this. Hit this question on a lunch break. Like, fam, what you talking about? Babe, what you talking about? No, for real, though. Like, what's the five things you love about me and why? I don't have time to go all in two. All right? All five things here specifically. Okay? But just to give you a few off top, just if I already kind of hit you one with the support. The support is huge. Okay? The way that you care for our family. You know what I mean? Like specifically, like especially if you have children, right? And and I'm not going to get on my high horse about how men, generally speaking, can definitely do more at home. But in general, right, the way that you care for the family, huge, okay? Number three, okay, just off top. Number three, I think one of the other reasons why we love you is just that to have fun. Like it's something about being with your boo, your partner, and laughing, cutting up, joking, right? Just that that camaraderie, you cannot beat it. I'm telling you, if your husband ain't telling you this, don't let him trick you and make them believe it, okay? Unless, you, unless you're born, and that's a different story for a different day. But like that's just the one thing we love about you is just being able to joke and laugh, especially those inside jokes, right? Like no couple, nobody else in your family know about. Like those inside jokes, that's classic, right? Off top, that's a big one right there. You know, and just continue to grow with you. Like you just, we're continuing to change. You're changing. Husbands are changing, right? We're all changing over time. So there's, there's a beauty in that for sure, right? Uh, what else we got here? Things, why, what you love about me and why? I can't, now I'm going to get real specific because I can't, I, I can't generally speak. I'm just going to be talking about wives in general. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit a few specific ones about Katoya specifically. One thing that I really love about Katoya is really, man, her, 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 her ambition and her drive, um, especially like, you know, we got married. We got married in college, right? We're, we're 21 years old, right? And so that wasn't really at the top of the list when you think about 21-year-olds, your top five things you love and want to get married for, right? Uh, but that, that drive, ooh, it's sexy, y'all. Like, I, I love to see when she wants something, when she's when she's hungry for it, they go get mentality, that mamba mentality. You know what I'm saying? That right there. Love that about her. Um, and then one more thing for the sake of time. List five things you love about me. And wow, one more thing I love about Katoya in general She's really got a huge heart. Like, she really has a huge heart, a level of compassion for people in need, for not just people in need, but, like, just people like her wanting to go out of her way to serve, to love other people, to drop down information inside. If she can help you, she will. You know what I'm saying? Like, she see you in need of something, boom, she's going to try to make that happen for you. Whether it's words, insight, encouragement, tangible things, she's going to try to make it happen. So that's that's five things right there. Let your boo, text your boo. All right, y'all have a good conversation. If they only can come up with four, finish that conversation at dinner. You heard what I said. All right, let's get into a few more here. Number nine, what is my most annoying trait? Ooh, y'all trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> that sounds so fun. What is my most annoying trait? Husbands. I'm speaking on behalf of husbands here, okay? So maybe this ain't for your husband. It is something about if you ask... If you ask me to do it, and I say I'm going to do it, then let me do it, okay? All right? Now, if you give me a timeline of when you would like it done, that's one thing. But if there's no timeline, there's no deadline, we haven't agreed, agreed upon when it should happen, respectfully, right, in a certain amount of time, okay? Let me do it. I got it. So when you do it, because you thought I was taking too long with no timeline. Now we have a situation. Now we've got, now we're annoyed, okay? And maybe you feel the same way as well. Now we're annoyed. I got it. I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let me do it. That's all we'll say about that. Don't want any emails or comments about that. <laughs> Where do you see next one? Ten, where do you see our marriage in five years, ten years, twenty years? Imagine your future together. What do you see? Five, ten. Listen, we're getting older together, baby. Listen, our kids right now is 12, 6, and 8, okay? So by that third one, she's 6, what's that, 12 years? You know what I mean? I'm turning 36, 48, baby, with three kids out to high school trying to go off to college. We out here, Lord willing, healthy, thriving, um, popping financially. We in these streets, uh, uh, uh. That's what I see. I see us getting better. I see us making better decisions, being more ambitious, seeing the world, right? Come on now. Let's go. Don't play with me like that. Number 11, if we could do anything together, what would it be? 
if we could do anything together, what would it be? Two things off top specifically for Katoya and I. Specifically for Katoya and I. There's another good question right here. Uh, because this can go a lot of ways. It could be fun. This could be serious, right? One, Katoya and I, we want to be on Amazing Race. Okay? Could you, you can see Katoya and I on Amazing Race, right? You can see that. You can see Katoya and I. The Sumners. Team Sumner on Amazing Race, let me know. Let me know, man, if you can see us on. Please hit me up if you think you can see us on Amazing Race. If you don't know Amazing Race, please YouTube Amazing Race and stop playing the games, okay? Uh, but that's one thing. Uh, but number two, we really were, uh, we would really love to just set our kids up, man, to be honestly financially free. You know, that's, that's a whole other episode in the future that we're working on here. But, like, just from, you know, there's different ways we're trying to invest and kind of set our children up. But that's one thing. When you talk about just as a, as a, as a, as a couple, right, as the leaders of a family, like, we would love to be able to set our children up so that they're not necessarily worried about, you know, college or they're not necessarily worried about, you know, trying to make ends meet. Just, just to have that cushion. All right, we're trying. We're trying out here. That's just a couple things. A few more. Let's keep going here. What do you value most in our marriage? What do you value most in our marriage? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. What do you value most? You know what? When our sex life is popping, I'm joking. Uh, uh, to be honest, that trust. To be honest, that's our trust, man. You know, in our, in our marriage, straight up is definitely far from perfect. You know what I mean? It's definitely far from perfect. You know, it's it's got it's got some battle wounds, got some scars on there. So, you know, I'm grateful for the level of trust because you be seeing friends you know, right? Family members you know, definitely people online, social media, blasting their business out in the streets. Everybody ain't got that trust, man. Everybody don't have that, like, I, I don't even think about when Katoya is out late. I'm not thinking about it. When she with her girlfriends, I ain't thinking about it. When she going on a girl's trip, I ain't thinking about it. And vice versa. That level of trust. Woo! That's precious to us. It's precious to us. That's what we got on that one here. Uh, what else? Got a few more. What do you feel you what do you feel your needs are in our marriage? Oh, okay. What do you feel our needs are on behalf of our husbands? What do you feel, all right, your needs are in our marriage? Man, that could go. That's a whole nother episode right there. But a few on behalf of all husbands, respect, respect, right? There's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a need for this marriage, like feeling respected, you know what I mean? Feeling respected is something that is definitely important, something that we value uh, in our marriages. Um, also, just this... this um, you know, kind of hit on trust already. That's a big one right there as well. Like that, that respect is a big one. What do you feel your needs are in our marriage? You know, I, I think communication is big. You know what I mean? That's really important here. That's valuable because, you know, as life starting getting busier and schedules get going and you got extracurricular activities you're trying to run your kids to, you're still trying to kick it with friends, right? You want to go do this, you're trying to go do that. We want to do date nights, we juggling work. Like there's so much going on. So that we really value that communication because from, you know, like I talked about earlier a few questions ago, if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, that's a communication piece, right? Off top right there. That trust and that communication, that all comes back, right, together. It all intertwines. And so just having strong communication is something that we value and you're like maybe not my husband well maybe he just ain't said it and he needs to work on his communication i digress here we go last two what was your parents marriage like um my mom and my dad they broke up i can't speak for husbands on this one my mom and my dad they broke up when i was like four right they you know they're civil they've been civil for a long time you know um and then Katoya, you know, her folks are still together. But I had other good examples of marriage right there for sure. Um, so that's that's just real quick right there. 15, what excites you the most about our future? Ooh, we're going to get better. We're going to get better. I want you to think before I get out of here, think about a few things that you do well in your marriage. As a couple, what are some things that y'all do well in your marriage? You got that? Now think about that getting better in three, four, five years. You know what I'm saying? Now think about something that y'all ain't good at. Think about something you like, mm -mm, we can't, mm -mm, we can't, this, that's not a strength for us. That's not a strength for us. That's definitely not a strength for us. But in three, four years, it's a strength now. Ooh, you see what I'm saying? Like what excites you most about the future is the progression, is the ability to get better, to improve, to evolve, to take things from other people, from other couples, from books that we read, podcasts we listen to, things we've done on our own independently and collectively, therapy we've been in, you know what I'm saying, and boom, and get better. That's exciting, yo. 
Dream Team. Like, that's really exciting, yo. That got me hyped, man. I'm going to get out of here. But listen, that is it again. I'm going to shout that listener out next week here. Um, That's what I get. I spoke on behalf of all husbands in the room and not in the room. 15 questions to ask your husband about marriage. Ooh, let me know. Let me know what you think about these questions. Let me know if there's a question that I need to answer that I didn't answer. Let me know that as well, man. We appreciate y'all listening wherever you are. We hope you're safe. Check us out on Instagram, TikTok, Summon Up Summoners, S U M, Summon Up Summoners. If you ain't got none of that and you want to email us, please, Summon Up Summoners at gmail.com, Summon Up Summoners at gmail.com. This was a lot of fun. Y'all be safe. Talk soon.